OK, here we're going to look at setting up a scheduler activity to manage mentor and mentee appointments between staff and students. Now, the advantage of setting up the scheduler is that it will enable the students to book on and manage their appointments themselves based upon the times that you've made available. It can be set so that it will send out an email reminder to the student that they have a meeting and it is also capable of storing any notes from meetings so that you can look back at it over the course of uh, a semester or a year or even further. So when I'm setting up the scheduler activity, this could potentially be used one activity for multiple members of staff across an entire cohort of students. The first thing I want to do is to set up groups so that the students are aligned are signed into the correct groups with the mentor. So to do that I will simply go to the participants and use the little cog to select groups. And I'll create a new group for my mentor students. Then I'll simply add users in. Okay. I should say I also need to add myself in to the group. That's quite an important step. And now if I return to the course where I'm going to have this scheduler activity, I can simply add the activity in. Now, by default, students can register for one appointment in the scheduler. I'm going to change that to say one at a time. This means that once the student has arrange one meeting with you and that date has passed, they can then attempt to book another meeting should they need to. Booked in groups, please leave this on no because what happens is if that is set to yes, the first student to book a session books it on behalf of their entire group. The default slot duration is 15 minutes. You can increase that if you want. Uh, it runs in minute time slots, so if you put in 60, that will be one hour. The use of notes for appointments. Now, this is a, a really useful feature because during the session or after the session, you can actually make some notes and you can choose whether those are visible just to yourself, so they become private notes available only to those with higher level editing rights within the course, or whether they are visible to both yourself and the student, so that the students can use those as a, a reflection on what was discussed. So there we have it, the appointment note that's visible to the student and the teacher, a confidential note which is only visible to those with teacher's rights, or you can have both types of notes. In this case, I'll select both and we'll save that and display. OK, so now we see the students listed here who are in my group and could therefore be either assigned to come to a meeting or who can book a slot with me. Now, I'm just going to make some slots available. And let's say that I want to run these slots every Thursday over the next few weeks. And we'll end on the 28th of September. And I'll run the slots from 2 o'clock until 4 o'clock. I'll just untick these boxes here. Because it's only running on the, on the Thursday. Divide into slots, yes, that's what we want. 15 minutes per slot. 
you can elect to say have a five minute gap in between meetings so that you have the opportunity to then write up any notes uh, if you did that then you would get 15 minutes for a slot then five minutes and then it would book it would make a booking available for the next one so you would get three slots per hour instead of the four that we currently have the maximum number of students per slot by default is one however you could if you wanted to make a slot available for multiple students to come in as a, a drop-in activity if they needed particular types of support the location is simply where you're going to have the meeting the slots are displayed from now and I'm going to set the email reminder to say the day before the slot the students are emailed a reminder of where and when and with who and I'm just going to save that change and it will populate all the available slots okay and that's pretty much all there is to it for the member of staff now if for example a student pops in and desperately wants a meeting with you and you've got 10 minutes available for them that's absolutely fine you can just add a new slot there and then and let's make that from now save okay unfortunately the time has moved on so that's why it wouldn't let me do it straight away Okay, so that's added one slot from 10 o'clock until 10.15. Another way of doing that is if you've got a small list of students, it's probably easier just to say, I will schedule an activity and I want to see them at this time period. Now I'll cancel that for the moment because I don't want to send uh, an appointment slot out to that particular person. Okay, so that is all that you need to do in terms of setting up the appointments. Once you have had the appointment, you have the options to edit the information available and you can add the confidential notes and the notes that are also visible to the student.